meet Dr. Inesco, who is currently working in the COVID-19 testing facility. After performing the laboratory procedure, he needs to dispose his used gloves and pipe with tips. As responsible laboratory personnel, how should you deal with the wastes properly? Let us show you how. Why do we need to segregate and dispose of our biohazardous waste? Correct handling and disposal of biohazardous wastes are necessary to reduce or eliminate exposure of laboratory staff, other personnel, and the outside environment to potentially hazardous materials. Biohazardous waste can be divided into four categories. Solid waste, liquid waste, sharps and broken glassware, and pathological waste. Solid waste includes the non-sharp items like gloves and gowns that are contaminated with human or animal diagnostic specimens and microbiological culture materials like agar. The collection container must have a lid or other means of closure. Liquid waste includes bulk quantities of blood, blood products, human body fluids, animal body fluids, and culture media. These liquids must be stored in closed, leak-proof containers while awaiting treatment and disposal. Sharp waste and broken glassware includes medical instruments, broken glass, instruments or materials that can cut or puncture personnel. Biohazardous sharps waste must be disposed in a puncture-resistant container with restricted opening, disallowing retrieval of sharps and a lid that can be securely closed once full. Pathological waste includes human or animal tissues and anatomical remains. These should be collected in a leak-proof sealed bags. It should be autoclaved if possible and segregated in its respective durable and properly labeled containers prior to its removal and disposal. Back in the situation earlier, he should dispose the pipe tips in the shop's container then throw his gloves in a separate container along with the solid, non-pathogenic wastes. Promote safety in the laboratory, in our community, and the environment from potentially infectious wastes. Let's be more responsible in the lab. A safety reminder from ESCO. Improving lives through science.